Hi everyone and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pun and instead of tea, I'm still sipping my lovely tap water on this hot day. I want to take a moment to talk to you about the importance of voting. So right now you can vote in the advanced polls at your returning office or you can vote on election day. And I've included the information on how to find those locations for you in the text below. I know that many of you feel discouraged by the options that are presented before you and that some of you may feel that there's no point to casting your vote. I hope I can convince you otherwise. Voter turnout has been particularly dismal over time and that has led to majority governments that we don't want and that again encourages even more voter fatigue or more political apathy. I want you to know that your vote does count. I want you to know that people have fought very hard for our right to vote and that this voting process is not even available to many people around the world. Now, most people expect me to tell all of you to vote Green, and I will, but with a caveat. Vote for the Green Party candidate in your riding if you feel that he or she best represents you and your constituency and your values. If you find a different candidate who best represents those values, please vote for him or her instead. Now, I do want to let you know that voting green is not a waste of your ballot either. It does help support our party with provincial funding, and time and time again, we have been meeting those targets. I'm hoping that in time, if we actually get electoral reform, that you may see more and more green candidates acting on your behalf in provincial parliament. So again, please vote, please talk to your families and your co-workers and your colleagues and your friends about voting and encourage them to do the same. This is an important process that again, other countries are not entitled to and so we are lucky in that. I also want all of us to participate because that is the only way that we will secure us an Ontario government that truly reflects its people. And as for minority governments not doing anything, I would encourage all our politicians that if they want to keep their paychecks, they have to stop fooling around and they have to learn to get together and work out their differences on the playground. That's what I expect my toddlers to do and I certainly hope that our politicians are not above behaving at the level of an obedient toddler. So thank you again and please vote. Ciao.